What's up, haters? That's right, it's me. Guess who finally moisturized? Yeah, that's right. And you know what that means? It's over for you freaking fricks. Now you better like this video, or I swear, uh, you're not gonna like it. Hey Loki, we're making another undercover video. Isn't that great? We're back on Facebook as a mom, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this time we're going on a Prego Mom Facebook page, all right? Uh, here's my profile. It's Jamie from my Tinder stuff, right? Um, but I, I did change some of the info about her, so please, allow me to tell you how great a mom Jamie is. Now Jamie, I changed your age from 21 to 35, but she acts like she's 25. And she has two kids, Chloe and Zaylon. Yeah, I, I looked up baby names and Zaylon came up. I'm not kidding. And Chloe's just fun. Have you ever met one of those moms that has the kid with like the misspelled name? Like it's a normal name, but it's just spelled weird. I think that's so stupid. I love it. Now she's got these two kids, right? But she's also unmarried. She can't be held down by a man? Of course not. All right, so I found a random Facebook page and honest to God, I thought they wouldn't let me in because I had a cartoon profile picture. Um, but I'm finally in, boys, so let's go! If you're wondering what kind of Facebook page this is, um, one of the moms posted a picture of her son wearing a Fortnite shirt. I feel like that tells you everything. Would you say sweet honey mustard is a girl craving or a boy craving? Or either or? Having a debate about this one, lol, just for fun. I'm not so sure about honey mustard, but when I had Chloe, all I craved day in and day out was horse meat. I could not get enough of this stuff. I grew up on a horse ranch, so I'd been around them all my life, but this was the first time I'd ever wanted to eat them. I actually ordered an entire horse worth of meat from Montana and ate the whole thing in a month. I'm talking 800 pounds of meat. And I was still not satisfied. Still, I hungered for the meat of a majestic animal. But when I had Zaylon, all I wanted was my boyfriend! Yo, what? Yeah, Jamie, Jamie gets around. She likes to have fun, you know? She's, she's a single mom, single mom life. She can't be held down. Did anyone's infant get a stomach bug and then have to switch formula because they can't tolerate the normal formula the baby was on? Thinking about switching my son to whatever because he hasn't been gaining weight and spitting up since he had the stomach bug two weeks ago. Oh, that's so sad. I would love to help. Let me try. No stomach bugs here, but when my little Zaylon was one month old, I started feeding him steak and eggs so he could start building muscle. By the time he was six months, this boy was beefy. I'm talking a small nuclear bomb and pampers. Like, no joke, he probably could have beaten me up. We took him off the diet when a kid at his preschool got a concussion when Zay threw a building block at his head. The parents sued, but we won. Does that help? All right, I'm in the process of getting a breast pump. Which would be better, a Medela or a Spectra? Why do these sound like smartphones? No idea, but I used an old wooden breast pump for both of my kids. I got it at a thrift store for way cheap. It was probably Amish or something. But I started getting splinters, so I ditched it and started squeezing out my milk by hand. It was tough, man. Like, I every night I'd have to fill up their, their, their little, uh, what are they called? Bottles. Yeah, God. I would have to fill them up by hand. I was just sitting there. I, had, I just had it like that, and I was just going to town. Now, what I love about, like, just going through these Facebook pages is you just find some great names sometimes. Um, I'm not gonna show the rest of this lady, but her name ends in cum. Sometimes these jokes write themselves. If you have your first baby early, is it possible for the second one to be early as well? My son was born at 36, yeah, yeah, yeah pick up my son for attention. Yeah, mm, early babies, that's, that's a good one. It's possible, but always true. Uh, that's bullshit. I had my son at 37 weeks. No, that's stupid. Ah, my first one, Chloe, was early. And my second was super early. Six months in, and he fought his way out like it was Doom or something. When he came out, he looked like one of those cat statues you see at Chinese buffets. He even had his paw up too, ready to fight the duck. I just, I knew that he was a fighter when he shot out of me like a bullet. Right? Found out I'm having a girl today! Girl names, please! Oh, congratulations, you guys! Ah, if my son was a girl, his name was gonna be Paisley May. Paisley. Wow. Here's a few from my book. Johnny, Logan, NASCAR, Mario, Turnip, Fentanyl, and Benji. Choose wisely. How long is your six-month-old awake before they go down for a nap? 
Yeah, there's actually a lot of moms in this one. That's cute. Um, a step aside, ladies. Let me tell you. When Chloe was six months, she slept all day and night, literally up from 3 to 4 p.m. and then out like a light. You might think that's great for a newbie mom, but let me tell you, this little tyke had sleep farts. Yes, she'd fart all day and night. I'm talking at least a solid, continuous, five-minute farts at a time. We would try waking her up just to get her to stop, but the farts would keep us from going in her room. It smelled like a rotten onion took steroids. Worst time of my life. If you'd like to wonder what it looked like in Chloe's room, just imagine opening the door and there's just a solid wall of just like green gas. Something like that, you know? Okay, so I found out I'm having a girl. I'm a little worried about my daughter. She's very rough and jealous. She's ugh, always been the baby and the only girl. My son doesn't like attention much, so she's always gotten a lot of attention. How can I kind of prepare her? The, you know, ah. This is a very troubling issue. I understand, ma'am. Let me help you. You know, when my second kid was born, my first simply couldn't handle it. Chloe was always being rude to me and Zaylon, and one day I got tired of it. So I made them settle it over a game of Super Smash Bros. Fox, no items, final destination. I love my kids, but Zaylon smacked her down! After that, it's been smooth sailing. They don't fight anymore, and for some reason, Chloe always lets Zaylon right in the front seat. If you have any disputes in your life, like, uh, you know, a, a big sister and a little brother, or like someone beating you up at school, take my advice, settle it over Smash Bros. Beating the crap out of someone's, like, uh, cartoon character, it feels amazing. What tattoos do you moms have about your kids? I need some ideas. I want a tat with my two kids, but also one that could be added with the future kids I plan to have. Finally, a post for me! I got this tattoo when I was prego with Chloe. It's meant to symbolize how my family catches food, and also a metaphor for what that kid did to my Not cool, Chloe. Also, I want to get this one for my second kid, Zaylon. I just think it would look good. What do you guys think? Do you think that would look good? I think that would look great on, on a 35-year-old on a mom who likes to go to Olive Garden and lets her kids blast their iPads in front of God and everybody. So, I mean, if she wants it, man, like, who am I to stop her? Okay, so I was going through this page for like an hour or so, right? And I was just reading the comments, looking at the posts, whatever. And I found this random lady, Chrissy, who just left this random comment on a post. I, uh, please, allow me. It's really upsetting that some women act like children. Can't hold a normal conversation like a grown woman. So because they disagree, they block you? I'm really starting to rethink this page. A lot of young, immature girls. But there's also so many awesome mothers this is on here who I respect and admire. Damn. She just left this on a random post. I think it was asking about, like, baby food? Chrissy, why? I feel you, Chrissy. There's a lot of loser mommies on this page. For instance, I had a lady get mad at me when I suggested she not vaccinate her kids so they could grow up big and strong without the government in their bodies. That's how I was raised, and look at me now. I've taken on polio, measles, and tetanus. I'm basically invincible. Urgh. Jamie's got it going on, you guys. She, she can't be held down by a man. And now she she doesn't vaccinate. So I'm glad Zaylon got those muscles early, man, because he's gonna need them to survive. Just purely for fun, can anybody guess how far along I am and when I'm expecting? And then she showed her baby belly. Honestly, this is wholesome, but I gotta do my thing, man. So 37 and boy, 34 and boy. One hour and Chipotle, LMAO! Man, you guys, Jamie's really funny, isn't she? Wow, wow, she's always got the jokes. Oh, everyone says, oh, that Jamie. Oh, she's always joking. You know how it is. You know, if Jamie had more initiative, if she was really interested in it, I feel like she could make a great Facebook meme page. I really do. Second child, but first time breastfeeding. What are some must haves while breastfeeding? Mm, breast pads, that's pretty good. An electric pump, that's stupid. Here's what you need. Nipples. Boom. All right, so I was on this page for a, about a day, right? And you remember that honey mustard post at the beginning where I said, I don't know, something stupid about horse meat or something. Uh, yeah, um, I checked in on that post later 
and there was this whole conversation between the the poster, the, the original lady, and one of the mods, one of the admins of the Facebook page. See, see, there's my Zaylon thing, right? Uh, all I wanted was my boyfriend, LMAO, and then the mod comes on. And she says, hey, OP, that comment does not violate the rules. Hashtag mod. Now whose comment would they report on this innocuous post? <sighs> and then OP comes and she's like, I didn't mean to click on that. And then the mod's like, it's okay, accidents happen. <laughs> so I knew this was about me, right? Of course, obviously. So. I got through the mod, that was pretty cool, so I said thanks for looking out to the mod, and she liked it afterwards, like, so it was me! It was about me! This lady reported me! Dude! Lady! Why did you report me? Why'd you report my comments? I was- I just wanted to tell you about how I ate horse meat when I was pregnant. I'm trying to relate to you. Chrissy was right. And then- before I was making this video, I was checking the the page again to see if anything else had happened and I think they shadow banned me. I've typed in the exact name. I have it in my screenshots and I can't find the page. It's like blocked from Jamie's Facebook uh, profile. They shadow banned me, dude. They got me. My cover was blown, man. I, I was there for a while, but they got me. Was it the horse meat? Probably. So that kind of sucks. Our cover was blown this time, guys. Uh, hopefully you had fun anyways. I did. I love talking about super beefy babies and um, recommending wooden breast pumps. I hope it is for you too. I had a great time. Thank you for watching. I'll have something stupid next week. Um, goodbye. She's... Ugh.